Fractals are found not only in nature, but throughout the universe. They make up the architecture of our DNA, and they can be living, such as ferns. The reason fractal geometry is so interesting and perfect for studying natural shapes is that it takes into account both large-scale and small-scale features simultaneously. Fractals have a particular type of scaling, which means that as you zoom in, you keep seeing a pattern repeat itself at a smaller scale within this new frame of zoom space. This makes analyzing things from all angles possible from one study with fractal geometry. You don't have to think about what might happen if I zoom in closer. You just focus your microscope on the fr All fractals are a result of a feedback loop, where the output of an iterative function is fed back as input. The best examples come from examining how shapes found in nature can be broken down into approximations through the Fibonacci sequence. An infinite series that begins with zero and one and progresses to ever greater numbers by adding each previous term together. The golden mean or ratio 1.618 has been observed to show up over over again throughout nature so you might want to check out chaos theory for more information on this topic the basis for why fractals are interesting is that they're very efficient a lot of information about the shape of an object can be obtained by measuring just a few points on it or even just one fractals are interesting because they have a fractal dimension that is less than to forever going in and out of themselves they can be good for describing phenomena progressively more common, but the range is limited to size scales that are close to what we see with our naked eye.